we're going to clone this PCR fragment into this <clears throat> vector called PDB Lu. Um, it has a, it's called PDB Lu because it has <clears throat> a marker that makes it grow on Lucy minus plates. So that'll be our selection marker plus a catamycin resistant. Uh, here's some yeast broth that I will measure this yeast grown overnight that you guys saw me grow. Okay, hi. First we need to make the cells competent, so we're going to take the cells that we grew overnight and um, inoculate them into more um, uh, more uh, of the broth, the yeast YPD medium, and then we're going to grow it for a few hours because the growing uh, yeast cells are much better than the ones that are, have reached their capacity. So um, I already measured the yeast cells with a spectrophotometer and uh, they have 8.4 times 10 to the 8 cells per mil. So we need 2.5 times 10 to the 8 mil or cells to inoculate 50 mils of media and then we'll incubate it for 4 hours. Um, so to do that, that's 300 microliters of <coughs> grown up cells. the cells down at, at 3,000 G for five minutes and, and then wash with 25 mils of water and then resuspend with one mil of water. So for that, uh, we'll separate the two into two different uh, conical tubes. Eee, five minutes is done. Let's wash it in 25 mils, so I'll do it in 12 each since I split it into two. I hope we're not responsible for the beeping. <laughs> I'm okay. I think several undergrads use this desk. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> where does where does no, Brian sit? Oh. Mm. Oops. <laughs> I'll have to keep my stuff off the other half then. 
Okay. Yeah, that's what I see, I do. Okay. Then I have to um, spin it again for five more minutes. But as we're doing the opposite thing. Okay, we're back again. Um, so what it says is to add 100 microliters of this um, of the cells that I just made to each tube. Okay, so then I need to make up the transformation reaction. So I will use more tubes. Um, so what I need is 240 microliters of 50% PEG that I previously made. Polyethylene glycol, in other words. And also 36 microliters of lithium acetate. And that is what the that makes the cells competent in the lithium acetate. So, I'll do that right now. Okay, so we have P the PEG, lithium acetate, oil, salmon sperm, plasma DNA plus water, and then coming up we have um, cells. Little tiny volumes of clear liquid. just cells in the bottom, and they've been washed a couple times, so now we're going to uh, resuspend them with the mixture. And it says big vortex mixing vigorously. There's a vortex on Lee's bench. Yeah. That's another thing. We should get one, can we get one in the middle? Is it too far to share? No, I think we could work it out. Okay, so um, all I'm going to do is resuspend the cells and then incubate them at 40 degrees for 40 minutes. So, hi! It's been 40 minutes and I went and got the um, transformations from the 40 degree incubator and um, they look pretty much the same. So now I'm going to spin it down. For a few minutes. Um, and then we're gonna plate on just plate those onto some blue minus plates because they have the uh, gene for blue plus. So it's a selection marker. And then we're going to let it grow for.